And good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday morning to you. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, and this is what I call my morning musings. Enjoying a really good cup of coffee this morning. Uh, you ever have those mornings where you just uh, you had to have a little more coffee than usual, or maybe you didn't have to have as much? Boy, coffee's good this morning. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, you know, we've been studying the eschatology of the parables of Jesus. If you'll go back and look carefully and listen carefully to the series on the eschatology of the parables, you will see how those parables completely falsify all future eschatologies. Well, guess what? Yesterday, <clears throat> we began an examination of the fact that just recently, John Shorey, a so-called Bible prophecy expert slash prophet was on the Jim Baker show. And he said the great tribulation will begin, catch this, in March of 2016. <clears throat> well, guess what? Here we are. Uh, this is January the 28th. That means we've only got a little over a month before the supposed Great Tribulation begins. Now, just think about that with me, will you? In the millennial view of things, why does the Great Tribulation Began. Where does it come from? Well, whether you are a mid-tribulationist like Mr. Shorey, or if you are a pre-tribulationist, the Great Tribulation only begins when the man of sin appears. The man of sin has this peace treaty with Israel. He violates the peace treaty and begins to persecute Israel. He sets up the abomination of desolation in the temple at Jerusalem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. For the tribulation to begin in March... According to the mid-trib view, the man of sin has already got to be active and revealed. Where's the peace treaty with Israel? It's not there. Where's the abomination of desolation? It's not there. And oh, by the way, where's the Jerusalem temple? It's not there there. Folks, you can't have in the millennial view of things, doesn't matter if it's pre-trib or, or mid-trib, you can't have the great tribulation without the man of sin, the abomination of desolation, and the Jerusalem temple, and none of them are there. That means that John Shorey is a false teacher. It means that, may I use the terminology here, and I want to be as kind as possible, but he's selling his audience a bill of goods. Absolutely none of the preconditions for the great tribulation are present. And yet, he says we've only got about a month until the great tribulation. Well, I tell you what, that means February is going to be an awfully busy month. <laughs> no, the biblical reality is that the Great Tribulation occurred in the first century. Do you know that we have absolutely definitive, irrefutable proof that the Great Tribulation occurred in the first century? And it's easy. I present the information in my little book, Blast from the Past, The Truth 
about Armageddon. <clears throat> See, Armageddon and the Great Tribulation are, are all interrelated. But in this book, I present ev evidence from Revelation specifically that is clear, precise, and concise, and irrefutable, proving that the Great Tribulation was in the first century. It will not happen in March 2016. It will not happen any time in the future. Go to my website, eschatology.org or bibleprophecy.com. Order the book, Blast from the Past, The Truth About Armageddon. Do yourself, do your family, do your relatives, do your friends a favor and get this little power pack book. It may well change your life. Hey, we've got more on Mr. Shorey and his predictions on the flip side, but that will be Monday. You have a fantastic weekend. Be safe. Lord willing, we'll see you then.